In today's lesson, we are learning about dynamic dispatching. We're going to motivate this by looking at the various bind operators that we've defined. We've defined a monad for lists, we've defined a monad for state effectful operations, we've also learned bind operator optional behavior false. So far that pattern is always the same. You always have this bind operator and pure operator. Wouldn't it be nice to have a single interface to kind of extract away this behavior which right as a monad? Learning today is how to do that. that is the notion of dynamic dispatching and by dyna dynamic dispatching I am I'm basically saying I have a certain operation that is acts as an entry point. Whenever I call that function, it will look somehow to the parameters or some kind of information to be able to decide which of the various implementations. This is done dynamically. This is done while the program is running statically. You know, you so we're going to learn how to do this manual dynamic patching explicitly first principle usually do of course and then we're going to start trying to add a level of interaction by using the type of argument to figure out which function to call and then finally we're going to use something that is provided by Reckit known as the generic library that allows us to implement or define um, functions that are dynamically dispatched and finally, we're going to learn about exceptions, how to handle I hope you have fun today.